everybody. Today we're going to be talking about the Cinemood 360. We've released our new product. It has some really great features, but we wanted to do a quick video tutorial to give everybody an idea on how to best use the 360 capability. Um, in our main menu on the 360 device, we have a main header called VR. Underneath here, we have our 360 games and um, our YouTube app where you can go specifically and look at 360 videos. We also have planet picks, which include national parks across the world um, where you can explore and learn cool facts. We also have uh, learning to read with UniWord, which is um, a quick and easy game for kids to play that's interactive and uses the 360 capability as well. Let's first get started with a basic overview of the 360. Uh, we'll use a YouTube video to demonstrate how the 360 capability works. So we have the 360 section within YouTube, so you can search for all sorts of really great uh, 360 videos throughout the YouTube space. Um, things like National Geographic, you can do Lions in 360, the Grand Canyon in the 360 VR video, you can moonwalk. So these are really great things for your kids to explore and learn with um, every day as opposed to kind of sitting and being couch slugs. Um, even a SpongeBob Find Gary video. Let's do the moonwalk and I can demonstrate how the 360 capability works. From the USA Today Network and YouTube, it's virtually there. Your front row seat to amazing. Every week, we give you three cool VR experiences. One just for the thrill. One. Let's see, we'll fast forward through the intro a little bit. Um, so, the great thing about this device is you can use the um, buttons, press and hold, to fast forward. Alright, here we go. So we are now on the moon. You can also turn the volume up and down, same as you did before while you're watching content. Use the up and down buttons on top of the device. But with the 360 capability, we have motion sensors installed. So as you move and turn within the room, you can move and see the different landscapes. So here we're looking to the left, we see a different visual, and then you can see it as it moves back around to the main initial screen that you see. So you can see some cool facts. The moon's gravity is 83% less than Earth's. How cool is that? And you can go up and down as well. So on average, the moon is 93 million miles from the sun. And there's the sun up there. And you can even, if we get dark enough, Go back up and look up towards the sky. Now you may notice we have uh, an optical peculiarity on the screen, which is that light bluish, kind of like a fingerprint. Um, it should only be visible on an all black screen. So you can see it, it, it fades when it's on a, a lighter color. So here you, you move it around to see fun facts. Oh, there we go. So really, you can you can walk all the way around in 360 with this device. So it gives you like a whole world to explore versus just a single scroll. All right. So that is the moon. Now let's go and look at some of the games we have. Um, this is our our newest game. It's called Ghost Hunt. Um, for those of you 80s and 90 kids, you might remember the um, duck hunt from Mario Brothers. It's kind of similar, just with ghosts. So you're going to shoot out all the ghosts. Kids that might be afraid of things like ghosts in the dark might like to play this game during the day and they'll feel safer going to bed at night. Um, we're going to go into level one. We've played it before, but there are basic instructions at the beginning. And so you just line it up and shoot them. Whoop. Oh. 
Now, if you find that your screen gets a little wonky, you can hit the VR button on the side to, that resets your visual. You can see how it jumps there. Um, I got all ten ghosts. So there you go. So that's that's basic uh, first level of ghost hunt. It will get harder as it goes along. Um, you hit OK, and then once again, if you need to reset your view, if you get like stuck over here and it doesn't re-adjust um, when you go back to the center, you can hit the VR button on the left side, and it will readjust. So then to go and exit out of Ghost Hunt, you want to look for this arrow, click there, you can save, restart, go to the main menu, and then to actually exit out of the game into the main menu, you want to hit that button again and say, yes, we really want to leave. So there you go. That is a basic overview of the 360 capability on our new Cinemood 360.